you guys are all doing well. Um, I know everything's crazy right now, but hopefully you guys are chill, not freaking out. There's no reason to really, so please don't. All right, guys, so this is your love reading. For April 1st through the 15th, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well, as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Leo out there. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. All right, guys. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. It could be you, Leo, or it could be you, Crosswatchers. Whoever's watching this video right now, the overall would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during these two weeks. Everything else is interchangeable. It can be you, the person you're dealing with, or just your surrounding energies, all right? Hi, Aria. My cat's real needy right now. She's a good one, though. All right, guys, your overall energy. You have confusion from the Magdalene Tarot, not Tarot, Oracle, <laughs> the Magdalene Oracle. Hold on a second, guys. This light is, like, messing with me. Let me see if I can do something here. I don't know. All right, there we go. Confusion. And that's your overall energy, guys. Like, that's you. That's the energy that you yourself are taking on right now. Conflicting thoughts regarding a major decision are causing you to feel confused. You may be feeling as if you don't know which way to turn at the moment. You may feel unable to choose between that which you truly would love and that which you think you must do. At the heart of this issue lies a deep-seated sense of obligation to others. You're afraid that you might disappoint or hurt another by choosing what you love. The best course of action for you at this time is to take a few steps back. Don't place extra pressure on yourself by thinking that you must decide right now. Give yourself time. If possible, take a short break away from it all. Bring some peace and quiet into your life, and over the coming days, things will become clearer. Your primary obligation is to honor what you truly feel in your heart. Others will understand in time. Okay, guys. Always, always do what is best for you. I mean, there's, there's a few exceptions to this, right? If you're a parent, obviously kids come first in every single aspect. I don't care what it is, who you are, that's the way that it is or should be. Um, but as far as anything else, it should always be what you want to be doing. Because if you're doing something just out of obligation to someone, there's gonna, it's going to cause a lot of resentment and you're going to hate your life. So there's really no point in doing that. Okay, all right, with that, with the regular tarot, you have the lovers. See, now my light's jacked up again. What? <laughs> the lovers reverse. So this is Gemini energy, but again, it doesn't matter because this is the energy that you yourself are taking on. Um, but with the lovers reverse here, either you are really out of balance within yourself, like you're just all out of whack, emotionally out of balance, everything just out of whack. Probably likely because you're in this state of confusion, right? Um, but with this confusion and this decision that you're needing to make and feeling obligated to make it based on what someone else wants, you could definitely be um, trying to decide between two different people. You could be trying to decide if you want to be in a relationship with someone or stay in a relationship with someone because this is... If this is a relationship for you, it's not in balance. This is somebody's having a really hard time making a decision on it, whether it's being in it or choosing between two people, okay? Um, the lovers is not always more than one person. This is actually my only deck where it's three people on the card, but we have to acknowledge that there are three people on the card. So there could be more than one person here, and you maybe feel like you have to pick one of them because you feel obligated to. That's not reality, though, guys. Um, you don't ever have to feel obligated to another person unless it's your kid. For real, for real. Um, I mean, if you're married, obviously I don't condone cheating. You're going to have to get yourself out of that marriage if you want to pursue someone else. But if you're in an unhappy marriage, you're not obligated to stay there just because you married the person. I, that's not my belief system. I think that's absurd. Okay? So... 
go with what you feel go with what you want to do and you can't make everyone happy so make yourself happy okay all right let's clarify the lovers reverse for leo clarify the lovers reverse for leo Mm, the chariot reverse this is cancer energy doesn't have to mean anything as far as signs because again this is the energy that you're taking on this is you're feeling stuck you're feeling like you're stuck like you can't move like you can't go anywhere you may want to leave a relationship but you feel like you can't like you're just stuck there nothing's happening you're stuck you're planted that's it <laughs> no movement nothing happening um, obviously, if you had travel plans with someone or you're going to travel to see someone, that's probably not happening right now with the current state of events, but um, it's also, it's feeling a lack of victory. Like you just, like, there's not shit happening here. Um, and it's up to you to make those changes, right? It's your decision. Okay, I have to point out here before we move on to the rest of the reading, though, guys, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana out of only seven cards here. So this is a huge two weeks for you. And I think it's going to be for a lot of people because people are, you know, forced to actually be around the people that they're with. People are forced to go within and process because there's not really much else to do, right? Um, so I think this is going to be happening for a lot of people. A lot of people are going to really, um, really see who they actually are and who their person actually is you know once you're forced to be stuck in the house with that person you might be like wow this is who we are <laughs> it's gonna happen for a lot of people i'm sure but it's all for the best it's all for a reason right nobody wants to live in a delusion <laughs> well some people do but you know not the healthiest all right, so your recent past, you have the star. This is Aquarius energy. You could have an Aquarius in your recent past, or there was just some major healing that happened in your recent past, or maybe like um, you felt really good about things, like your wishes were coming true, and then something changed because it's not that's not your current energy right now, or you know this is just the other person that you're dealing with. They might feel like you're like their wish come true, and that's why you're so stuck and feeling obligated because oh my god like they act like I'm their freaking world like all their dreams just came true how am I supposed to leave them <laughs> you know but that's on them that's not on you okay it's not all right you're present you have the moon this is Pisces you have so many different signs here guys so it's it's impossible for me to say who you're dealing with but this is Pisces energy and with the moon being here in your present, there are some secrets, there's some hidden shit on your end or their end. There's some hidden stuff, and I'm going to say it's on your end because it's like you, you don't want to say how you really feel because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to say how trapped and stuck you feel because you don't want to hurt their feelings. Um, you don't want to say that you might want to leave this because you're going to hurt their feelings. So it's... There's a whole lot of hidden shit here. Nothing's clear. Clarify the moon for Leo. Temperance reversed. Once again, major arcana. This is a huge, huge two weeks for you guys. Um, so temperance reversed is Sagittarius. <laughs> so many signs. This is crazy to me. I'm waiting for you guys to come out. You think you guys are going to come out in your own reading? It'd be cool since you got the whole rest of the freaking party here. But anyway, temperance reversed is Sagittarius energy. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I would say that they have some secrets. Um, if not, it's whatever's hidden here is causing you to be very out of balance. Again, with the lovers reversed up there too and confusion. You are just, you're a wreck basically you're an emotional wreck um, because you have this hidden shit here and you don't know what to do about it. Clarify temperance. It's, it's also an impatient energy. It's like, oh my God, I have to go. I have to go. I have to do something. I have to do something, but I can't because I'm stuck, right? Clarify temperance reverse for Leo. 
clarify temperance reverse for Leo. The three of wands reverse. Somebody's not preparing for the future. This is fire. So this is you as well as Aries and Sagittarius. It's like somebody doesn't see a future here with someone. They don't want to prepare for the future. They don't want the whole marriage. They don't want all that. They don't see a future with this. Whether it's you or them, somebody does not see a future here. All right? And the other person probably doesn't even know that they feel that way, whether it's you or them. Now, in your future, you have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. Welcome to the party, Virgo. All right, so in the future, it, it, it's isolation. You're going to have to isolate yourself and, and go within or the person you're dealing with is. Um, everybody's isolated right now anyway, so it looks like you're going to keep doing that for a little while. Um, it's basically just going within to find your answers, to get your wisdom, to process whatever it is that's going on here. You know, go within and find out how you're supposed to handle it. Really get in touch with yourself. All right, let's clarify the hermit. Let's clarify the hermit for Leo. What do you think it's going to be, guys? you think it's going to be you? You think you're going to come out? I would not be shocked. Clarify the hermit. For Leo. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody here is going to decide to be single. Somebody wants their independence. Once somebody here goes within and gets in touch with themselves, they're going to realize that they want their freedom and they want to be single. Whether it's you or them, that's what's happening. Okay. All right, in your obstacle, you have the Five of Swords reversed. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but it's basically you need to separate yourself from any drama, okay? So this is conflict, it's petty drama. It is reversed, so it is separating yourself from it, but as an obstacle, it's like, you don't have to if you guys are arguing if you're arguing with somebody hey guys, sorry about that anyway you don't have to engage in it. if you guys are just trash talking each other just going back and forth talking shit it's not necessary remove yourself from it that's not going to get you anywhere that you want to be okay clarify the five of swords for leo The five of pentacles. So that's the problem here. Somebody is afraid of leaving somebody out in the cold. Somebody is afraid of feeling abandoned, feeling rejected. Probably a breakup if you're in a relationship would cause a financial strain. Somebody might actually end up homeless over it. And that's the obstacle here. That's the fear. Um, but again, you have to do what's best for you. And if that's going to put you in a position where... You might need to find another place to live, then so be it. You know, these things happen. You have to get to where you need to be for you, right? Um, I don't advise putting somebody out on the street, especially right now. So, it's a hard one because of what's going on right now in the world. If you are thinking of leaving someone or breaking up with someone and that would result in them being homeless, I would just take some time to process it and kind of try to wait it out till this is all over because it's gonna be hard for somebody to find a new place to live right now just with the universal energies. Um, doesn't mean you have to stay with them forever at all it just means that you have to get clear about where you are and you know just isolate yourself for a while and then once you come out of all this and go be single do your thing if that's what you want okay your advice the ace of cups this is a new beginning if there is a new beginning in love here it is there for you to take whether it's a rebirth with a current relationship or a brand new person it's there for you. It's genuine. It's a gift from the universe, okay? Express your emotions. This can also mean the birth of a child. But it is there for you. It is an opportunity. <laughs> and it's with the Knight of Swords reverse. So it's there, but nobody's talking about it. Nobody's saying anything. 
Nobody's communicating their emotions to anyone else, all right? That's the whole problem here, it's hidden. So you're gonna have to turn that around and have an honest conversation with the person that you're dealing with. Or um, if you're completely single and this is a new person for you, it's there for you, it's an opportunity. But if you don't ever talk to the person, what, how, what are you gonna do with it? Nothing, just sit there and let it pass you by. <laughs> okay um so you need to have a conversation about how you how you really feel what your real emotions are okay all right good luck guys